clothespin wreath. I saw this one on Pinterest and I thought it was really cute and really pretty. And it has kind of that like country chic look to it. And so I really wanted to give it a whirl. So um, I am going to show you the supplies you need. So you need two packages of the Dollar Tree clothespins or clothespins from wherever else you're shopping. I know Walmart usually has like a package of a hundred or so for I think two dollars. So it might actually be cheaper to do that one. But um, I did get this one from the Dollar Tree. It has 36. You need a wreath form or frame. This one I did spray paint to match the colors and when I paint my um, clothespins. So that's something you might want to consider is, is if you're going to paint it or not. And then you need a wire waste paper basket from the Dollar Tree. And this one I did spray paint as well. It was black. Now it's kind of a gold color. Um, the spray paint that I used is Rust-Oleum Metallic. And I tend to use this for a lot of different projects. I just love this color. As a matter of fact, I have to get some more because I'm all out. But you also need some paint if you choose to paint your clothespins. Um, you could do a variety of different ways to paint. So you could do like apple barrel, you could use the writ dye and, and dye them all, you could spray paint. Um, in my classroom, I use Sharpie markers to color different clothespins, so that would be an option. I'm going to use chalk paint today. Uh, I'm going to use the colors Fawn, Lagoon, and Truffle. So. And I, would, I may also use black and white to kind of lighten and darken as I um, start painting and getting some different um, textures and things like that onto the paint. So let's get started. Okay guys, I want to show you how I'm painting these. So I left them on the cardboard just to kind of make it easier. And I've, my brush is wet and that's kind of giving me the the grainy look I'm looking for. Um, so I really want it to look like wood, not necessarily painted, if that makes any kind of sense. So um, as you can see, it's kind of transparent there, which is what I want. And I'm going to paint then, and I'm not using a sponge brush, I'm using this regular paintbrush. And I'm just gonna kind of go on each side here. I'm still getting it a little bit wet here. And I'm going to move it down so that I can get on the other side. I'm not going to worry about painting the back, but I am painting the, the sides. And so each time I do a side, I'm going to move it down so I have room to do the other side. So that's all I'm doing. And then um, I want to show you, I did the fawn ones already. So here's how they turned out. And I did go through and put a little bit of black and white dots and kind of spread it, spread it out to give it kind of a more of a wood look. So there's those. I haven't done the truffle ones yet. Um, I just wanted to show you with this blue um, my process here. So we will get back in a second. My blue ones are done here. I want to show you how I kind of give a little a little depth to these. So with my I have my black here and my white, and I have the edge of a brush. I want to take the black on just the tippy corners here, put some little pokey dots on them, and then the white I'm going to put on the other corner. And then with my brush. I am just going to fan all that out. I think I need a little more white on this one. Just like that. So now that I have more of a rustic look, if you will, so I'm going to paint up the last set in the truffle and then we get to put them together hey guys so i wanted to kind of show you what i ended up with after i painted so 
you saw that I painted the bright turquoise and then I put a little bit of um, black and white to give it a little more um, depth. Well, then I painted my fawn ones and I like those. I got a little black on those as well. Then I did my um, uh, truffle ones and with these I watered it down a little bit and so these are a little more transparent. Well, then I had those three colors, and I was like, well, that's a little bright. So, I went through and did some more turquoise, but this time, my brush was already dirty from doing the toffee, or the uh, espresso ones, so I just added in the brown with the turquoise, the lagoon color, and they just made it a little bit darker, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, then, I painted some more of the truffle and did them with less water so that gave a little bit of a shade difference if you can see move my light over this way if you can see the difference here this one is much darker and then i mixed the uh, fawn and espresso or fawn and truffle together to make this lighter color so i ended up with a variety of colors which was not my original intention my original intention was to make just three colors but I am so happy with the way it turned out so I have my frame which I did spray paint with that metallic um, rust-oleum and we're gonna start putting on our clips so my goal is to kind of make sure that I spread out especially this bright blue I want that spread out so I have a lot of the fawn and the truffle, so I'm gonna kind of rotate those a little bit. So I'm gonna start with the fawn. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go on to the second ring and I'm gonna go all the way down. And I'm gonna take the next color and go on the third ring and go all the way down. As you can see, that kind of makes that an up-down motion here. And then I'm going to go with another color and go down. See how it just kind of rotates up and down. And I should be able to fit about 13 on each ring. I'm hoping you can see that okay. I think this will really make a good um, contrast. And I may have to go back and make some more clothespins, I'm not sure. I think I did enough. I was trying to count last night, but it was so late. <laughs> I couldn't even remember what I was doing. But you're just gonna do this alternating all the way around. I really like this color combination. There it goes. And I should be able to get one more on here. Okay, so that's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I got twelve on here. Okay, and once you have those clips, there's no re no need to glue or anything like that. They're just gonna stay on there and it's perfect. So I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so got it all filled up and I think it's beautiful by the way um, I am loving these colors so I did have a few extra clips not many honestly um, about two or three of each color so which actually was good because it gave me a variety of which I could play with a little bit so the next thing I'm gonna do is try to find my zip ties <laughs> okay there all right now this part I don't know if this is gonna work out or not so, we're going to try it. The one I saw had chicken wire behind us, but because of 
the quarantine, um, Michael's is closed and I can't get over to get chicken wire. I could have gone to Rule King, but that's not um, essential. So I thought I would try this basket. So we shall see. I think I can make it work. So this is going to be kind of a play with me thing. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is cut the um, rims off. So I'm going to do that with my wire cutters and it does cut rather easily. It's going to take a minute. So I'm going to push pause and do that for a second. Okay, so I cut the top and the bottom off and then they end up looking like this. So just be careful with that because it is sharp. Make sure you put that someplace out of the way. We don't want to get poked. And now I'm cutting up the, the middle of it. It's hard to see. But there is a seam on here, and so I'm choosing to cut down the seam um, because that's part of my project that will be kind of, um, I don't want that to be seen anyway, so I'd rather be on the edge. But because it's the seam, it is a little thicker. So I want you to see the last few cuts here. These are my husband's heavy duty wire cutters, but um, it does cut really easily. So I think floral wire cutters should cut through this. <clears throat> okay, so now I have my wire here, and I'm going to stretch and play and try to make this fit down in here. So that's my next goal. So I'm going to push pause and play because I know it will, I need it to stretch. A little bit. I think it's going to be barely long enough or tall enough. So we'll see. Let me check that here. Okay, so I did lots of stretching and it's not quite tall enough. So I did lots of stretching where I just pulled it this way and then I put it on my table and flattened it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this middle section because that's where I was able to get the most of the stretch. And it is just, just long enough. So that's perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off my excess and I'm going to zip tie this in here. So I'm going to trim it first. Uh, I'm just going to cut off this, the sides here just so I just have this middle piece. And then when I do that, I'll show you how I'm going to zip tie it on there. Okay, guys, so I have trimmed this. I did put one zip tie here and one here. And now I'm going to do the opposite. So you want to do the opposite sides so that you can pull it a little bit. So I'm going to find a good spot where I can kind of pull it. I'm probably going to use quite a few zip ties. I'm going to go down and then back up. And then zip tie this as tight as I can and cut off my end piece. So I'm just going to keep doing that, going from opposite side to opposite side. And these um, zip ties do come from Walmart, but uh, Dollar Tree does have these, but this pack from Walmart was a dollar as well. So wherever you are, you can pick them up. So I'm just going to go the opposite side again. I mean, I can smooth and pull at the same time so I can try to get some of those waves out. It's actually rather flat, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to do one here at the bottom. This is a kind of a hard spot because this section right here does not come all the way to the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not. So right here, it doesn't quite come to the bottom. It's just a smidge off. And it, it looks fine, like you can't tell at all. But um, if that bothers you, you might want to put a bow on it. Or, I don't know, you could probably even hide it with another piece if you wanted to. I might put another piece on there and just to show you what it looks like to try to hide it. I don't know. We'll see. 
All right, I'm gonna keep zip tying though, and then decide that later. Because it is just a smidge too short. But you work with what you've got, right? I may be able to pull it down with these zip ties too. I want to try right here, which is where it's really short. I'm going to try and see if I can zip tie this and pull it down. I may have to take the zip tie off, but... Oh, it's working. You know what? I know how I'm going to fix that. Okay, I'm going to cut this one off very easily here. I know how I'm going to fix this one. Okay, what I'm going to do is take off a clip. That way I can hide it, the zip tie, under the clip. as I can there. Put my clip back on. Yeah. Genius. Look at that. You can, can't even see it. Perfecto. In fact, I should probably do that on all of them, honestly. Okay, I'm going to go through and do that. Because you can see like this zip tie right here. If I move it over one and put it underneath there, it will work. You won't even be able to see it at all. So I'm going to fix that and uh, come back. Okay, so I fixed it. <laughs> you can't see any of the zip ties now, which is awesome. So I'm going to make um, or put some nautical rope on here to hang it by. And you don't have to use this. You could just use the frame if you wanted. Um, but I like the nautical rope and I think it will look good on here. So that's what I'm going to use. So I want my chicken wire to go up and down. That's my personal preference there. And I'm going to attempt to feed this. And this nautical rope did come from the Dollar Tree. I want it to go under. And I know this works because I've done it before. I just got to get it to go through there. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to feed that through there, and then I'm going to wrap this around a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to just trim this. And then I'm going to put it under on the second ring so that um, you can't see it on the outside. So that may take a second to feed through there. There we go. Okay. So my it's underneath the ring and I'm just going to twist this wire here. Kind of like a pipe cleaner if you're doing the other kind of wreaths. You could also zip tie it in. That might have been the smarter option, actually. Okay, then I'm going to kind of gauge my rope. Cut some off here. And then kind of guess where I want to go. I wonder if I zip tied the end of the rope after. I don't know, I'm gonna play with that a little bit and see which way works better. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. If I have my wire here. And then I want to go, I think, right here. I had to cut this piece a little longer because I felt like it was easier for me to get in there with this. Okay. So that's much prettier than the other one. This one's ugly. Um, I'm gonna redo this one. I don't like how it looks. No big deal. It's all about trial, trial and error, right? Okay. I like how I wrapped that around like that. idea just a little prettier this is so close come on there we go okay so much better now I'll put some on top Okay, so we are, oh yeah, that looks so good. Okay, so then the other thing I have is this welcome sign that came off of a um, flower hanger thing. <laughs> this thing came off of this. So I took this apart and then we're going to very carefully cut top off so I don't need that I don't need these hanger things and this would work with any sign you could find guys so um, a, a lot of the Dollar Trees sell these little wooden signs which would be super cute my Dollar Tree does not sell those so um, I found this instead <clears throat> I'm gonna turn that off a little bit more at the top Perfecto. Okay, so now I want this to be in here. I did find these little clip-on flowers that I have, so that's an option if you wanted to clip some flowers on. Um, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave it just like this. If you wanted to sandpaper this, you could make it a little more standout-ish, or if you wanted to use a different color. They know I do know they had some green ones. You could paint this one if you wanted to, um, or you could paint this one, either one would be fine. So I am going to attach this and I don't have any black floral wire which would be preferable but that's okay. Um, another thing I thought would be kind of cool would be a burlap bow. I may try that. We'll see. Okay so I want this to kind of be in the middle and I want it to be up and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my floral wire, I'm going to put it through the W, there we go, is that over, it's over too far. There we go, that looks more centered. I'm going to do 
the same thing to the E. Alright, stay where you are. I'm going to go ahead and set this W because he's giving me some the blues. Like I said, there are so many possibilities when it comes to putting a sign in the center with this. There really it's endless. Um, I did see some cute little things on Walmart. They had one that said laugh, a little wood sign, which was, I thought was cute. You could do a chalkboard sign, maybe put your family name in the middle. Um, that would be kind of cute. I did see some chalkboard signs at the Dollar Tree. Um, that would be a good option as well. That would be cute. you pull those in so you don't get scratches on your walls or your door wherever you're gonna put this um, I did go through and kind of cut off the sides where I thought it was my, it might poke I think it's gonna be fine but there you have it isn't it cute I'm in love with it I can't wait to hang it up um, I am gonna go hang it up real quick and let you see and I'm gonna make a bow and kind of give you the show you what it would look like as well Okay, I want to show you really quick what I did with my bow. So I used the burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I just used two strips, fold them over, and then tied this middle piece around those, and then glued some tails on. And then this clip I actually got from these flowers from the Dollar Tree. Um, I used one, a flower on a different project, and I had a clip, and so this way I can take the bow off and on if I decide I don't like it or uh, my needs changed. So what I did was I glued it on here and I kind of smothered it with hot glue to really give it a bond there. So I'm going to wait for this to dry. We'll stick it on and I'll show you what this roof looks like. Alright guys, this is what it turned out like. I love this wreath. I think it is so stinking cute. Um, I have the bow on there with the clip and so it is ready to go. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell for notifications. I've had a great time crafting with you. I hope to see you soon.